Angela and I have big plans for 2020. A new stamp in our passports, maybe a bathroom renovation. We definitely didn't expect to be worried about our income. When life takes you out of one comfort zone, your Regents Banker has helpful tools and advice to help you find a new one. It's a relief to have a plan for whatever comes next. Make your financial plan at regents.com slash brave the beginning. Regents Bank, member FDIC. Broadcasting live from the Subaru of Gwinnett Studio inside the Sinesta Gwinnett Place Atlanta Hotel, it's time for Gwinnett Business Radio. Gwinnett Business Radio is presented by Regents Bank. Brave the beginning. Member FDIC. And hello again, everybody, and welcome to Gwinnett Business Radio. We are broadcasting from the Subaru at Gwinnett Studio in the beautiful Sonesta Gwinnett Place Atlanta Hotel. Mike Salmon with you. We've got a very special show today as we've got the group CEO from Money Penny, Joanna Swash, with us this afternoon, along with the CEO of North America, Eric Shirky. But before we talk about Money Penny, I want to remind you that love is what makes a Subaru a Subaru. Enjoy big savings and a hassle free experience at Subaru of of Gwinnett, where people sell cars. Visit SubaruofGwinnett.com and join their family today, or come on in and see the difference. If you're already a Subaruist, then check out their Facebook page for the latest news offers and community events. All right. If you could see what happens behind the scenes here at Business Radio X, at least we're giving Eric and Joanna some stories to go, you know, go back home and, and share <laughs> with their friends and their coworkers. But uh, uh, Joanna Swash and Eric Shirky with Money Penny, welcome to both of you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Mike. Good thank, to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Money Penny, we've got some exciting news. You guys are opening up your your North American headquarters right here in good old Atlanta, GA. Gwinnett County, to be specific, Duluth, Georgia, to be even more specific, and to be even more specific, right down the road from Business Radio X. So, so Eric, I'll start with you. Tell us all about Money Penny and what your company does. This is this is big news. It is, yeah. Thanks for having us. Uh, Money Penny is a global organization with locations in the UK and now here in Duluth, and we provide uh, virtual receptionist services to over 10,000 businesses worldwide at this point. Uh, we have 1,200 employees uh, in the UK, uh, 200 approximately here in the US, and we provide services to small businesses of all types, even mid-sized companies, uh, for live answering services, virtual receptionists, and live chat. Joanna, you know all about the company. You're the group CEO, and you work overseas, so you've been with the company for for a while. Is there anything that Eric failed to mention about Money Penny? No, I think you completely nailed it there, Eric. You know, but at the end of the day, we're growing because outsourcing is growing, and it's become increasingly uh, popular. And we can see that in the growth of our business, both in the UK and over in the US. So it's really exciting times for us at the moment. Forty percent growth from from a couple of years ago and it just continues to grow you got even more expansion plans but because of the growth you guys have now opened up a, a huge uh, office here in Gwinnett County so that's exciting news uh, what can we expect at, at this new location in Duluth it's awesome that's what you can <laughs> expect when you walk in uh, well first of all you should see the office we have in Wrexham uh, 90,000 square feet, uh, huge middle space, uh, just beautiful office. Big tree uh, house in the middle. And the a tree, tree house. house. Yeah, we have a tree house. Why does an office have to look like an office? You know, you gotta, yeah. you got to feel at home, haven't you? It's part of the family. Well, t- well, this all kind of falls on the culture then. Tell me about the culture of Money Penny. This sounds like a great place to work. It, it is. It's, uh, it, it's probably the, the nicest people I've ever had a chance to work with which has been a little bit over a year now since uh, Money Penny acquired Voice Nation. And uh, it's just like family. That's how uh, we've always built our company, and Money Penny's no different. It's absolutely amazing to work with. Okay, so you kind of referred to it, Eric. So let's talk a little bit more about that. You were with Voice Nation? Correct. And uh, have now come on with Money Penny because Money Penny bought you guys out um, about, what, a year, year and a half ago or so, along with Ninja Number. So the company Money Penny continues to grow. So, so talk about your background and how you got to where you are today. Okay, it goes back about 18, 19 years. I was working as a golf professional at the time and uh, looking to do something different. A friend of a friend of the family was starting a company called Voice Nation out of his garage. And I took a leap of faith and uh, I've been with Voice Nation ever since. And we built the business up over about 18 years to where we are today. And Money Penny uh, 
wanted to come over to the U.S. and, and look to expand businesses here, and it was a perfect fit culturally. Uh, same same values, same culture. It was just been, been amazing ever since. And you're Gwinnett County, born and bred. Absolutely, yep. Born at Northside Hospital and went to high school here in Gwinnett County, college in North Georgia, and been here ever since. So, Joanna, the money penny buys out these companies. You, you meet Eric because of Voice Nation, and now he's running your North American operations. Oh, exactly. It was so exciting when we found, you know, that there was actually another business that wanted to be part of the money penny family, but who had the same values, and they had a management team that we could just trust from the from the day one. Um, and that's been that's been a huge value for us, particularly as you know we did the deal in February 2020, expecting that we'd be back again in March. And look at us here, 14 months later, and all of our integration really, and and building the business, and even signing a lease on the on the new premises has been done almost by FaceTime remotely, trusting these guys that we're going to all make the right decision. So. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a really, really exciting time for us. And it's been such a great thing to go and find another team that's got the same kind of values and culture. Well, you were all positioned in the, in the right place because this was a growth area anyway. COVID-19 comes along and just kind of expediates everything. And, and it, you guys have just exploded because of that. Yeah, we're finding um, both in the UK and the US that businesses of all sizes, whether it's the micro SME business, you know, one person working on their own, right through to multinational corporations, all taking a step back as business leaders and say, how do I operate differently in this new environment? What are other businesses doing, for example, outsourcing key key services that actually do not need to be delivered in an office in-house and that we can actually trust somebody who can go and do that on behalf of our brand and there's just there's been this huge growth really in that in just different ways of working and um, throwing out the usual and, and taking some risks. Our audience at Business Radio X is made up of business leaders, entrepreneurs, business owners, uh, decision makers, and they're probably have their ears perked right now going, okay, this is something that's very interesting as I grow my business. I could have somebody working for me, answering my phones, uh, doing my switchboard virtually, but I want it to sound like they're in my office. H- how do you make that happen? The, the way we have Money Penny set up, it's, it's more than just an answering service. And I think that's what a lot of businesses think of when they think of, of an answering service. What we do is we actually provide our clients with their own dedicated receptionist, which means that receptionist takes all of your phone calls. They get familiar with all of your clients. They know your schedule. They know uh, your kids' names, your pets' names. They know where you're at. And it really creates that personal touch where, where the services we provide uh, compared to a traditional answering service, or it's just far more personalized, and and that's that's what you get with Money Penny versus versus another another type of company. Yeah, and I, I think as business leaders, we're all very very protective, aren't we, of our own organisation that we've built and and risked lots for, and you're not going to hand over the keys to that business and that and its brand and its front door, if you like, just just to anybody. You need to be able to trust them and have a relationship with them, and I think that's where we've completely. We've got this niche in the market that it's all about relationships and it's all about trust. And you're not just going to go and and give the keys to your business just to anybody. You need to make sure that you're working with somebody quite reputable. You're now working with, what, over 20,000 businesses? You mentioned some numbers. I can't remember if it was before we went on the air or or during the show. But how many companies now? Nationwide. um, Sorry, (laughs) internationally even. Worldwide. uh, We're looking more towards 25, 30,000 businesses. And are these businesses of all different sizes? I mean, if I'm a mom and pop business, am I still a candidate for you? Oh, for me, if you think, what have all our clients got in common? They're early adopters. They're looking to save money. They're looking to work smarter. And whether or not that's the very very small business even people who are already working for somebody else and they've got a part-time business or you've got multinational switchboards and big corporations it's people for whom their brand is really important and marketing spend is really important and not to be wasted because what's the point in spending money on lovely marketing um, when actually you're not going to pick up your phone or you're not going to answer your live chat there's just no point to it so for me it's all about tangible value and that's what our clients are looking for so, Eric, you're, you're getting all these businesses. You need a lot of people to help answer phones and do the switchboard and everything. So you're looking to expand and add more employees. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Uh, all, all the time. Uh, we actually have a hiring event uh, tomorrow at our office here in Duluth uh, where we're looking to, at this point, hire over 50 people in the next three to six months. 
Okay. Well, if you're listening to this podcast after April 20th, you just missed it. <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to guess you're still always going to be hiring. It, it's always there. Absolutely. You can go to vo- uh, voicenation.com or moneypenny.com uh, and then go to our resources page or in our careers page. And there's an application right there. And uh, yeah, we'd love to have you. And it's a great place to work, amazing office space and uh, just a, a great family environment. What kind of folks are you looking for? Really, anything customer service uh, experience. Uh, what we found is some of our best uh, best employees have come from retail, uh, restaurant business, uh, customer service, uh, hotel industry, concierge, uh, and, and that's not even a requirement. We're really looking for great people that have uh, the will to learn and the will to, to learn the skill, and we'll we'll train them on that. Uh, but come come work for us, and I promise you, you'll be happy. Yeah, we're looking for happy, smiley people. You know, somebody that you want to sit and chat to. <laughs> yeah. Because that's the kind of person that our clients will trust, isn't it? That's the kind of person that they would trust to look after their their brand, and that's what we do. I consider my job as group CEO my only big job is to keep everybody happy because if I can keep people happy and engaged and with us and make sure we can hire great people to start with I know for a fact our clients will be happy because we're providing great quality services to them so yeah finding great people and keeping hold of them that's my that's my mission in life that's yeah that's half the battle once you get them you want to keep them around and keep them happy well we heard Eric's story how about your story, Joanna? Because you actually started out answering the phones and doing this, Not and you've quite. worked your way up. I don't, I don't know whether anybody would want me to answer their phones, to okay. be honest, Mike. But I started off in sales. So I was okay. Moneypenny's first salesperson. I think they'd been around for about three years, very much a family business, brother and sister. Um, set up the business in the year 2000. Um, both of them um, had their own small businesses previously. And Ed, one of our our founders, um, actually used an answering service that just didn't care really enough. And he thought, gosh, there's such a better way of doing it. Let's get somebody who really cares about their business and, um, and, and deliver a much better service. So anyway, I was the first salesperson and I worked there because I had my own small business, which was failing. Um, and my mum said, for goodness sake, go and get a proper job. So uh, I joined, hopefully, for what I thought was going to be short term. And it, that was 17 years ago, nearly. And what a journey that's been from a salesperson right through now to group CEO, where we've got 1,200 people. Um, and we've just seen this business grow. We've got £50 million turnover now and growing really fast so many opportunities and we're almost in this perfect marketplace that's that's very much changing environment so uh yeah it's all fun i've got um one husband two children two dogs and a horse <laughs> and, and there's my story <laughs> wait and, and a tree house and a tree house now, in the office will there be a tree house here in duluth eric I don't know that we have room for a treehouse. She did leave out one really important part. There's also a pub in the office. Oh, yeah, there's a pub. Don't forget the pub. Real pub. Over... In, in yeah, I'm not yeah. sure that would fly here. What about in Duluth? I'm not sure that's going to fly with our HR folks here in uh, okay. Duluth. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, uh, we're working on that, but probably not going to happen. <laughs> what about that? But what about that work environment for all those people that are going to be working? Because you know, you see some of the old movies where they're sitting next to other people and it's just noisy and stuff. But you have a completely different environment. We do, yeah. We've got it set up to where the uh, the the team works in pods and in small teams, and it's it's really creates a very comfortable work environment uh, where it's not your traditional call center sea of cubes. Uh, it, it's just a really spread out, uh, comfortable work environment, and we have a great place in the middle, which we call the middle, uh, where you can go and take a break, mingle, and just get to know your your coworkers. Where do you see Money Penny going from? Well, well, actually, before I even ask about the future and where it's going to go from here, you made the decision to come to Duluth, Georgia. Mm-hmm. And why Gwinnett County? And I guess, Joanne, I'll ask you, why did Money Penny decide on Gwinnett County? We, we love having you. It's great for the economy. It's great for the Atlanta, Atlanta metro area. Uh, but what brought you here? You could have um, gone anywhere in the U.S. We could have gone anywhere in the U.S. Well, first of all, we love the guys at Voice Nation. So, you know, that brings us to the Atlanta area, doesn't it? And then yeah. you go and, and then you go and look and say, what actually has got the best office space um, locally? A really good pool of amazing people that are very customer service focused in terms of keeping your recruitment pipeline. That very much fits in the area. And I just think there's a great business presence here. It, I, it feels to me quite entrepreneurial. There's lots of businesses around. There's some great networking. 
And everyone's been so super, super helpful. All the Chambers of Commerce, etc., and all the people that we've met, particularly as we've been doing this from, from a distance, um, has just been really, really supportive. So it just feels right. Sometimes you just know, don't you? Your gut yeah. feel is that you just know you make the right decision. Um, yeah. well, and Eric, you probably know this. I mean, you know, you hear about Silicon Valley, but there's actually more tech, tech companies here in Atlanta, specifically here in North Atlanta, than there are in Silicon Valley. Absolutely. I mean, what is it? Microsoft came over recently, yeah. I think, uh, and, and several others that have been we've been watching this. And it's like, wow, I think we we may be in the right spot. And the, yeah, it's a huge growth here, tech sector. And uh, it's just growing and growing. And there's what there's millions of businesses here just in the state of Georgia. Yeah, and, and, and a lot of good labor pool folks to, to pull from as well. Uh, so hopefully you'll be able to find a lot of the right people. Mm-hmm. So so where do you go from here now? I mean, I mean, what's what's next for Money Penny? Uh, keep up. We're, <laughs> it, it, again, the demand for our services is just, it's there. And, and even through COVID and the pandemic, uh, uh, outsourcing phone calls to businesses like like Money Penny, uh, it's just increased our, our value, and, and I think our clients start to see that. Uh, it's continued growth. Uh, we're probably going to need another floor in the building we're at, so we've got the whole second floor. Third third floor might be in the future, and expanding on the chat services, which which we see a huge future in as well. In addition to phone answering, yeah, I mean the growth in live chat on people's websites now is an alternative messaging um, channel. It's just huge. We've we, we've seen such a big growth in the UK. Interestingly, the growth in the UK on live chat is is by far ahead in the US. Um, but you can see now businesses are really going for chat, and because they're trying to operate on these these different um, yeah, making sure that you've got your mix right. What we do find is that people are more likely to outsource and overflow on telephone. So it could be that the office tries to take the calls themselves. If they're not available, then they overflow to Money Penny as a service. Whereas actually, they're more uh, more likely to outsource all of their live chat handling because it's not a skill that they've necessarily had in their offices before. And so when you think about how we interact with messaging platforms, that really has to be a key part of our future. Uh, a key part of our opportunity is to make sure that we're delivering really high quality um, outsource services for for digital products. And I, I think too, there's the generational shift with uh, phone calls versus chats. I think there's it's just the telephone is it's kind of a pain, and, and all the robo calls we get these days. It's I, I know that I get a lot of them, and I just won't answer the phone. And if you're running your business off your phone, you kind of need to answer that. So uh, shift from telephone to chat, I think, is something that, we'll, that we're planning for. And we're seeing that already happen for us. For those that do want to have the live voices, though, and live people answer the phones, you guys do that every day yeah. of the week. That's every- our bread and butter. 365 days a year. Yeah, we never close. And so if they need someone answering the phones 10 o'clock at night, you can serve them. We are there for you. Yeah. I have to ask you, uh, Joanna, the, the name of the company money penny where did that come from well i just think if you uh i don't know you 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 have an association that that's one of the best pas or personal assistants you might have seen in the past so i think the name sticks doesn't it Mm -hmm. well for those that would like to find out more you gave a website earlier if they want to find out more about either working for money penny or more to the point using your services hiring you out where's the best way to get this information uh, the best place would be go to moneypenny.com, spelled just like it sounds. Uh, you can learn more about our services there. You can speak to a sales representative if you're interested in the services. And then, of course, we're always hiring. We have uh, several positions open right now. There's a careers page there as well. Okay. Uh, can people come by and see the office space if they wanted to? Or I would love to have people come by and see the office space. It's great to show it off. And so, yeah, if they wanted to come by, we could set up an appointment, and we'd love to have them. Well, congratulations on the growth. Uh, we're excited to have you here in Gwinnett County. Is there anything about Money Punny that uh, I maybe should have asked and have not asked, or any parting thoughts for our listeners about Money Penny and your entrance into Gwinnett County in the U.S.? I just, I don't know, Joanna. What, what are you well, we're looking at each other? I just say, what to do, you say. Know, do you know what? I'm just excited to be here. Hopefully, we'll turn up at a lot of the same networking events and meet so many of the local are businesses. We gonna, are you going to be around here a lot? Uh, well, I hope so. Yeah, okay. it's a bit running through hoops at the moment, trying to get yeah, from the UK to yeah. the US, and the planes are very empty. But yeah, I'd hope to be here a week, a month. And please, anybody listening, businesses in the local area, reach out to us. Find us on LinkedIn. 
go and have a little look at our business uh, and we'd love to know what you think we always are looking for feedback how can we make our service better how can we be more appropriate to our target market and and one thing i really love about my job is to find out about other people's businesses so get in touch share your stories tell me more about your business and uh yeah let's all make friends (laughs) (laughs) i like it (laughs) If I wasn't doing so well here, I think I'd want to work with you guys. Well, there we <laughs> are. Like a you lot can't of fun. Say You've sold me. <laughs> Eric, thank you so much for joining us. Joanna, thank you so much for joining thank us as you, well. Mike. Group CEO of Money Penny, Joanna Swash, and the CEO of North America for Money Penny, Eric Shirky. Before we go, of course, uh, this show is brought to you by Regions Bank, and we're here to help your business's financial future stay on track. Regions Commercial Banking has a team of experienced bankers in Gwinnett who can guide you in all areas of growth. Get the resources you need so every step of your move can be closer to your business goals. To learn more, visit regions.com backslash commercial dash banking. Regions Bank, member FDIC. A reminder that you can enjoy this show anytime you want. Go to businessradiox.com. We're open 24 hours as well. And go to the Gwinnett Studio and click on Gwinnett Business Radio. You can also follow us on social media. We're all over the place. Amanda makes sure of that. We're at Gwinnett Radio X on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. You name it, we're there. And, of course, you can enjoy this show anytime you want or any of our previous eight years' worth of shows. We are on iTunes, iHeartRadio, Spotify, all of the podcast places we're there. So check check us out there. Subscribe to our show. For Amanda, who's done a great job producing, I'm Mike Salmon. We'll see you next time right here on Gwinnett Business Radio. 